Oh, this is my favorite station. Hello everybody, welcome back to the EXO Family Channel. I haven't given a proper introduction yet, but welcome back. And if you're new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button down below if you enjoy this content. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So, at the moment, we are taking Rune to the doctor. Yes, again, babies go to the doctor a lot, all right? If you have a kid, when they're a year old, you're taking them to the doctor almost every other day. Like, this is an everyday thing for us. Not literally an everyday thing, but it's like an every other day thing because he's our first child. But the reason this time isn't for like coughing or anything like that, nothing to be worried about, well, it's something to be worried about a little bit, but not too much. He's got this little red bump on his foot and it seems to be swelling up, so we're gonna take him to the doctor and check that out. You guys are wondering where uh, Atmo is. She's outside. So, yeah. Hold on. Rune? Son? Hey! <laughs> Hi there, buddy. What you doing? <laughs> You're so adorable. You are so adorable. You know that? There's mommy. Hi, mommy. <sighs> what are you doing? Just got done airing up the tires. <laughs> How'd that go? Good. How was it done? What's your social security number? I ain't telling you shit. <laughs> I know yours though. Well, I know the last four digits of yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you kind of need them to activate my cars. All right, y'all ready? How much gas do we get? We got just a little bit above a half a tank, which is okay. We were getting a lot more when the gas is cheap. Yeah, come and go is expensive. No, it's not. And it sounds like a prostitute area. Well, the, all the gas is going up, so no matter where we go, I mean, Walmart's are like two or three cents cheaper, but... A lot of people out I today. I know. I couldn't make another stop because it's already 3.32, because appointment's at 3.50. Oh yeah, check this out, guys. I, I think I haven't even seen my diploma yet, have they? You're a 2020 survivor. Oh, that's nasty. I've been touching a lot of things. That's nasty, Carver. Yeah, she has been touching a lot of things. <laughs> you wish I was touching a lot of things. That's your crazy. Hey, but... that was offensive to no, me and my masculinity. 
I got like black stuff all over my hands now. <laughs> Touching the tire. It dies. And so now it looks like shit. And now I gotta turn, so hang on. Here, let me sit. So this was chapstick. And the other chapstick, I opened it earlier when we first got in the car and it like it was melted so it just poured out the thing and got all over me. So I'm like chapstick. Oh damn. Eh. All over no, my no. pants line. Here, take this. Okay, both hands on the wheel, please, ma'am. Have you been drinking tonight? <laughs> been drinking coke. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> I don't know, man. So much liquor. We are currently racing to his doctor's appointment. We're not racing. We're actually going to speed limit. It's just... I'm not going to go interstate. So I would have to try and figure out which fucking... Which crapping road I would have to take. <laughs> We have potty mouths, okay? Leave us alone about it. <laughs> We're a lot better than we used to be. I promise. Oh well, no, I think you've made me worse. Okay, I've made her worse and she's made me better. <laughs> I'm the bad you? influence, she's the good one. <sighs> See, what did I tell you? Great manners. <laughs> I have it on the charger. And also, I'm trying to put this cloth diapers in the dryer. Oh yeah, we got cloth diapers for him. Yeah, for when he's at home, because we've been kind of low on money lately. So, we're, we should have been doing it the whole time. I just really forgot about it, that there was such thing as freaking cloth diapers. So, and here lately I've been trying to find a full-time job. So, yeah. Because I worked for a tech staff. That's where I was working. Uh, well, I work for tech staff right now. And they give me pretty much just a bunch of temp jobs. At the moment I'm trying to find a full-time job. Because temp jobs, sure they pay... But trust me, once you get in there, you're going to be bouncing back and forth from factory to factory to factory to factory to city to town to state. Oh, oh, I can I, I had a drop a while back. Uh, I only worked like two or three days because a lot of stuff happened and I just needed to stay home. She has anxiety. She doesn't like leaving her own. Uh... A lot of you mothers will actually understand this. She just doesn't like leaving our son. It wasn't even that. He's I a mean, year old. Sorry. He's our first son. It, it, it was mixed with that and my anxiety that I have with people. I don't like people. I don't like being around people. I don't know. I can barely talk to people that I don't know. Like, I'm very quiet. And then I had to, at Walmart, they never give you a specific job to do every day. You find a go find this person to find this person that gave me anxiety not knowing what I was doing every day and having to go find people that I do not know and I have to talk to to figure out what I need to do every day that literally was breaking me <laughs> and that mixed with leaving Rune and I've never left him for more than like an hour or two and having to leave him for eight or nine hours a day I couldn't do that so No worries for all you people that are franticking out there. Yes, I do still have a job. But I'm trying to find me a full-time job because... Well, you just need a full-time job. I need a full-time job. He was working 12 hours a night. It was 12 hours and 15 minutes, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. 12 hours and 15 minutes, 6 p.m. to 6.15 a.m. Because when I he's get never home. left me in room for a full night. 
when I get home, I'd sleep for two hours, wake up, get dressed, go back. Well, you sleep for, you, this is what would happen. You'd sleep a couple hours, and you'd wake up, drink coffee, you'd help me with room, while I, like, did laundry and picked up the room and stuff. And then, it would be, by the time we were done doing everything, it would be time to take you back to work. Which by that time, I did not want to get up at no freaking 5 a.m. to go get him. So I had to take himself to work and back. <laughs> Which does alone. save gas too, so. I'd be a loner. Yeah. Which I'm glad he learned his way to get to work. <laughs> He'd be so lost. Well, I mean, I'm surprised. But didn't you say he got lost the first day? Yeah, the, the first day I took myself. I got lost, so I stopped by the Walmart that she worked at. Yeah, I was currently working. <laughs> he stopped there. And that and, was on my break, thank God. And I went and I tried, I tracked her down and everything. Well, actually, she tracked me down. I wound up having to call her. I got lost in there, too. But, uh, I called her. It turned out we were actually on the same aisle. Well, we were, like, in the aisle. Yeah, we were, we were in an aisle our apart. Aisles but, so there's a middle aisle, and I was on an aisle like this, diagonal from his aisle. She was like, oh, you came to see me. And I was like, yeah, I'm so lost. Where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, you're, because I don't, you didn't have minutes on your phone at the time, did you? Nope. No. So I was just like, you know, Google Maps still works without the Wi-Fi. You just have to do it while you're at the Wi-Fi area. I did not know and that. He did not know that. <laughs> So that helped him out. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dear. <laughs> but anyways, we will see you guys here. And for you, it'll be just a second, just a cutaway. Just pretty much a do it. <laughs> right. Hop. For me, it's a bunch of editing. Right. So enjoy my editing. You're not getting his penis in there, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody needs baby pornography on the watch on YouTube. Huh? Oh. Yeah. We have to wear masks. Well, now it's the law. You have to wear a mask everywhere you go. He is 26 pounds. And three ounces. You feel like that, me? It's funny, huh? Still funny. You can walk. I know you can. We see you do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. I'm glad they have baby things on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. So we just got out. What were the conditions? Really worried about. 
about it getting infected and stuff, so. Well, it's just what we was worried about. That's why we made the appointment was we thought maybe it could have been infected, but it's not right now. So, so it's just like a bug bite or a stink? Yeah, and it's swollen and red. He said it could come infected, but not right now it's not and stuff, so we just need to watch it and keep an eye on it. Because it's swollen and hard and it's really red and stuff, but that's signs that, you know, something serious or something happened or whatever. Hey, we get to go spend money. For what? Medicine. No, I already have Benadryl. No. Thank God I already bought that way like a couple months ago. Cool. But it was cheap when we really needed it. Ah. I took a shower today, so my hair is all <laughs> fluffy. She'll tell me to wake me up at 8.30. I'll go to wake her up at 8.30 in the morning. It's just a couple more minutes. A couple hours later. <laughs> what time? We got up at what time today? One something like 1.30 because we didn't get to bed until like 4 or 5 a.m. And we got stuck watching this larva. There's larva this Netflix, Island. <laughs> there, there's this Netflix series called Larva Island. Larva. Larva. My Island. bad. It's called Larva Island. And hilarious. It is funny. It is absolutely funny. <laughs> yeah, like, we didn't even know what time it was, man. We, uh, we, we finally fell asleep. We put him in his bed. We, we thought it was like 10 something. Yeah, we, we were like, you know. It's pretty early. Yeah. So we lay down. And we put on Larva Island. And we, where was I going with this? Next thing I know, I'm hearing my uncle's alarm clock. Like, what the crap? Why is his alarm clock going off this early? Does he like have a date or something? You know, I look at the time, it's 4 a.m. I'm like, no wonder his alarm clock's going off. He needs to get up and get ready for work. <laughs> I'm like, William, I'm turning this off. We need to go to bed. <laughs> and right as soon as she turns it off, there's this little fish thing about to hit this guy's tooth in with a rock. Yeah. So right as soon as you hear the whap, she shuts it off. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dear God, what just happened? Right. <laughs> I was trying to make sure I was the only one that's seen that. Yeah. I've seen it too, dear. So we're going to turn it on tonight and watch. And this dude's going to be like. <laughs> Kidnapped by sandfish. Yeah, there, there are these things on there called sandfish. Well, I and don't when know, they see you, they'll know. scream. Yeah, we don't know what kind of fish they are. They just live in the sand, but they're fish. There's this big old buff SpongeBob looking fish <laughs> under there. That's hilarious. But when they. Man, I hate it when they do that. It looks so freaking stupid. It's always a white SUV, it's always some dumb cracker. I'm not being racist, I just couldn't say what I wanted to say, so I said cracker. She's trying to substitute. Substituting, okay? And I'm not being racist, okay? I'm not talking about white people in general, I'm just saying. It's a cracker vehicle. There we go. I'm a cracker. You're white. I know, I can call it. You're a cracker, I'm a cracker. Everybody's, that's why it's a cracker. I'm not being racist, guys. But, I'm uh... just letting you know. I'm not being racist. I've dated black people. No, that's not me. <laughs> but, uh... Anywho. 
Why do I say people? Like guys, there we go. If I say people, then that means girls and all that too. So I just want to be clear that there's no hey. girls involved. Can I hear the history of this story? <laughs> <laughs> but, anywho. Is he doing some flop talk back there? Probably smashing it. Anyways, off the whole <laughs> cracker topic. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's gonna be a riot showing up in our house. You never things. know, man. You never know. <laughs> Everyone's racist in their own way, okay? Like me, some of the things that pop out of my mouth, I'm not gonna so lie. Very racist, or are very racist, but he's not racist. I'm a, I like to do comedy. I am a comedian through and through. I love going to that topic to he test my like limits sometimes, attacking. okay? I like to test my limits sometimes. He sounds like he's freaking attacking his laptop back there. He probably is. And I can't see him to see what he's doing. But... I like to test my limits sometimes. I like to go beyond the line, just like a tippy tiny. Just like a tippy tiny bit. I ain't gonna lie. But everybody does at some point. Everybody goes beyond that line. But, oh, there's a tank. <laughs> Side of the tracks, SA. <laughs> you get pop. I'm gonna serious. hit you with my frying pan. A lot of stuff happens on the side. Like, that's where all the drugs and the shootings and all that's mostly at. You on the wrong side of the tracks, SA. You better step back. Well, my bad. Roll back into your territory. Well, technically, it was all through. Better head back to Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Even the good side of town <laughs> is full of drugs and stuff, too. That's pretty sad. Hi there, neighbor. <laughs> like, that's where my brother and sister live, is on the good side of the tracks. And they still... Tristan, you know, I love that kid to death. He's like my kid. All my siblings are like my kid because I've had to raise them. starting to point. Yeah, he's starting to point at things he wants now. He's done figuring out how to eat with a fork. He still, he don't know how to hold it right stuff, so he's obviously still struggles with it, but he understands the concept. He is very independent. He don't like to be fed. He don't like to be helped in any way. And he has no patience. Wonder where he got that from. I don't know. <laughs> Me. I just don't know. <laughs> Literally, he has no patience. I'm like, Rune, patience is key to life. You're going to need patience no matter what you do. Still, I'm listening. Like, he likes to play video games with me. When he sees I'm playing Fallout, oh, that God. is his favorite thing right now. Is when I'm playing Fallout, he'll go straight towards me. And he'll want to turn. He'll want to play with Daddy on Fallout. So I'll set him in my lap. And I'll be trying to do something before I hand him the controller because he's always about 
to just destroy something. Destroy <laughs> something. Like the other day, he shot one of my settlers dead. <laughs> like he hit that R2 button. He made sure the gun was aiming at the settler. And it surprised me. Because he grabbed the analog stick, moved it over. Then he seen the R2 button and went. Shot that settler dead. I had to load a new save for the settler to come back to life. Because that settler had no more head. He was using a combat shotgun. My mistake for leaving it on the combat shotgun. But, uh... Yeah. It's just so perfect in every way. But I'll try to be doing something on the game before I hand a controller to him. Like, nowadays, I make sure he doesn't have a weapon. And... So, I'll, I'll go to handle controller and he'll start screaming. Like that. He probably wants his computer. Does he have it? Yeah, he has it. I don't see his bottle anywhere, though. It's not behind. Well, between the seat and the door. It's Look how many people are out today. It's got to still be on him because it's not on this side. That dude has a hoverboard and a cigarette. <laughs> One second. There's an old guy on a hoverboard. <laughs> go hoverboard, old guy, go! I bet he can be. I've attempted to ride one once and that was I stepped right back off. <laughs> I tried to ride a uh, Logan. Is its name Logan? Yeah, my cousin Logan, yeah. Yeah, I tried to ride his and That's I fell on my I, ass. That's the one I tried to ride too. <laughs> Those kids are freaking spoiled. They have iPhones, big flat screen TVs, hoverboards. The most crap. expensive thing I've ever gotten on a holiday was my birthday and it was my very first PlayStation 3. The most expensive thing I got on my birthday or any other thing I would have to say was my computer. Like Christmas and everything? But that's for we my 16th birthday. We didn't really get it. We didn't really get much for Christmas or anything. Oh god. Did y'all see? Of course not. We forgot to live stream it. But did y'all see the he got a ton of stuff for his birthday. And Christmas, like, we, in general, just us, his parents, bought him, like, 50-something gifts for Christmas. For his birthday, we bought him, like, 20. Okay? His uncle Seth bought him a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, 10 things. <laughs> like, half the presents there was probably he from his so uncle Seth. so much stuff that he, most of it, he don't even play with. Like, a lot of it, he don't. And it's sad, we're going to have to start cutting back on that, like, this coming up here. We did it big because, you know, it's his first Christmas. It's his first birthday. Even though he won't be able to remember it, it's something we will remember. Something that we will cherish. So, we want, and we had the money to do that, so we wanted to do that for him. So, but every other, these coming up holidays, he, for, like, his birthday, he's going to get, like, three to five things from us. And five, I don't know. And for Christmas, he'll get, like, five to like seven or eight things from us, you know? So that we're limiting, you know, so he don't expect that every year. We want to make sure he don't expect, you know, big, because some years we won't be able to afford it. Had to clear up some storage. It's fat and annoying clearing up storage. What do you think about it? Well, you guys, I have to say it, but I'm going to end this video here. We're going to run some other errands, and then we're going to wind up heading home to relax and think about what to do with ourselves for the remaining time. <laughs> so, anyways, we love you all so much. Thank you guys for watching. Click that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and hit that notification bell. And I'll say it once again. Please comment things you want to see on our channel. Actually, you do get a comment. I did. Yeah. Finally, the first comment in like how many years? <laughs> Coins. Like, seriously. I forgot.
forgot to read it to you last night. Well, thank you, whoever commented. Yay. But anyways, we love you all so much. We will see you guys in the next EXO Family vlog, which will actually be tomorrow because I'm going to start doing daily vlogs. All right, well, then Sunday I have... We have to go to church because I have our graduation party thing. Oh, church. Hey, but I get money. Uh. <laughs> and then Monday we we will vlog because we have three three appointments Monday. Uh, me, Bird, and William have an appointment Monday. I don't do church. And then Friday, William and Bird have an appointment. So definitely Friday and Monday we will definitely try and vlog because those are the days that we have a we, they have For all of you guys that are new, I am pagan. I don't like church. Mainly because I get looked at like a Satanist. <laughs> I am Christian, so. Yeah, for those of you wondering how this work, how this works. Um, we just compromise a lot of things. Like church, he compromises going to church for me and stuff. Like, because I love her. I would never do this for another woman. Yeah, like... Ever. We had to compromise on things. It's like, God, which I like the store. <laughs> he likes Earthbound. It's like a Wiccan and all... Uh, pagan and all that kind of store. I love it. Magic. And I'm not even into that stuff. Well, I'm I believe in it. magic. Like, I'm kind of into it. I'm interested in it, but I don't do it and stuff. But I really enjoy the things they have. They're like the crystals. I do believe in the energy and the crystals and all that stuff. And the sage and all that. I just don't like, you know, sit there with candles all around me. Like, you know, trying to summon demons and crap. You know? <laughs> we don't summon demons. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyways, we love you all so much. And comment what kind of content you want to see. Do you guys like prank video? Would you like us to start pranking each other again? I attempted a prank on him. The last prank I attempted on him, and it failed epically. Like, I went and I bought, you know, these pill thingies, you know, that are supposed to make, you know, blood stay up for a while. Kind of like Viagra, but it was a ripoff. It did not work, okay? That was going to be my prank for you guys, and it failed. Well, it failed the epically. main failure was... You and your friends sitting there staring at me while Drinking I drank coffee. my heart.